I, I love teaching because uh, teaching is the only process uh, which you can improve all the departments in all the sciences and all the faculties basically. Now, <coughs> cancer is the word which is very frightening to all the people. You must have seen the practice when the relatives come with the diagnosis of cancer of a patient, what they tell you in your consulting room, please do not tell to the patient. Now, why? Because they feel that overall myth in our society till today, once the cancer is there, I am going to be dead in next few months. I, I, my life is ended. Now, this is a myth. Now, why this has happened? Because majority cancer initially used to get detected in a advanced stages. Now, once your stage of a disease <coughs> at the detection is stage 4, naturally your lifespan will be less. But what it requires is a ed education, what we call it as awareness in the society, not in the metropolitan cities, not in the bigger cities, it should go absolutely at the periphery. Now, incidence wise, if you see the cancer, it is higher in urban population and lower in rural population. Why? Anybody can tell me? We will take interactive session. I mean, please, I mean, if, if you are, even if it is wrong, does not matter, but we will we'll learn. See, basically, the rural and urban, this totally different of lifestyle, right from, right from the work style, totally different. Work style is very common quite in rural areas. If you see work style in Mumbai, I always give an example. Every Mumbai is a marathon runner. It starts the day and wants to do marathon. Fine, you can have marathon, but everybody wants to come first. And that rat race is going to kill him. Second thing, change of food habits. The standard food. So, if you see village, there is hardly any hoteling. They eat good food with a very good environment, no pollution, very fresh air. Less crowd, less population, more fresh air, less population. So, I am from Ambandagar. In my uh, childhood, I never heard cancer patient, uh, I mean so many years in my village at all. It is a very small place. This is the difference. Change of food habits. Now, what are change of food habits? We have fast foods, uncooked foods. These are all bad all adultery in the food, the powder. Now, I will give the example, the pav bhaji, you put that red powder. So many fruits, they have been injected with the sugar and all these colors. They contain a lot of pesticides. So, all this adulteration in the food, unhygienic food, uncooked food, wrong food at wrong time. And see, what body needs is antioxidants to fight with the cancers. Now, what antioxidants we get from which, which food is basically fruits and vegetables. And now, our fruit and vegetable intake is very poor. We are more on the bread and pizza. And every, every time we want change of food. Now, why? This is, this is habit we have cultivated. Now, why you want change of food every alternate day? It is not required. And party, lot of parties nowadays, birthday party, party. See, this is how you are going to have a wrong food for your body. Extra cheese, extra butter, everything is going to attack. Forget about cancer. It is going to attack your heart, it is going to attack your kidneys, it is going to attack all the organs of the body. So, good food, nicely cooked food, vegetables, high intake of vegetables, fruits is going to reduce the incidence of cancer. For example, colorectal cancer. The incidence of colorectal cancer is very high in abroad. Why? Because they have got a diet problem, because they eat a lot of red meat. Now, red meat or any non veg will have constipative, uh, they have got a lot of constipation in, uh, in the, their habit. If you see the stool habits of Indian population or Asian population versus world is two per one day that is our this thing because it is our vegetarian high fiber diet. There is a low fiber diet, it is one per two days, it is like this. So, if you have constipation, 
whatever is the excreta which is there in the inter large intestine, it remains for a long time in the intestine and the carcinogens which are getting out from the meat, red meat is going to act on the large intestine and that is why colorectal cancer incidence is very high. Now, initially in India it was very low, but suddenly in last 10, 10 to 20 years lot of change in the habits, lot many people have changed towards vegetarian to non-vegetarian. Because I, what is there in vegetarian? Not correct. I would like to go for non-vegetarian. So, a change of food habits. Now, the colorectal cancer is also increasing in India. Now, which are the commonest cancers in India? In males and females. Chronological order you tell me. Number one in males. Next. Lung is the first. Head neck. Prostate. These are the three commonest cancer in males. And females? What is the first? No, first is breast, it has taken over cervix, second is cervix, third is ovary. Yeah, these are the commonest uh, cancers in the females. Now, we are dealing with the solid tumors, we will not, will not discuss leukemias, lymphomas, all the incidences because it is very confusing in one lecture. Now, I would come to what are the symptoms of the cancer which you normally suspect, suppose if, if I ask you. What are the different symptoms of a cancer, which when you suspect cancer, most important three things, painless lump in the breast or painless lump in the body, anywhere in the organs. Number two is persistent cough, not getting released, not getting relieved by your medication. You suspect either lung CA or metastatic disease. Third is persistent bleeding from any sites of the body, nose, throat, stomach, hematemesis, hematuria, PR bleeding. Okay. Now, this any chronic symptoms if you have, you must always search for or rule out any cancer in the body. So, there are there, you should know the symptoms of every cancer. Suppose, for example, breast cancer. Now, breast cancer has been mistaken in the society, pain in the breast. It is considered as one of the symptoms of a cancer. No. In early breast cancer, pain in the breast is not a symptom of a breast cancer. It is a described as painless lump in the breast as a breast cancer. So, pain in the breast never do mammography. What he needs is the good clinical examination reassurance. Okay, these are the general symptoms of cancer. Then Now, we will go to the breast cancer. Now, as we know that it is a very common breast uh, uh, I mean cancer in the females, it has taken over the cervix, cervix has become number 2. Now, it is a hormone dependent disease as everybody know. What is hormone dependent disease? It is estrogen dependent cancer. Now, male to female ratio is 150 to 1, even you have you can have male breast cancer, the percentage is very less. In overall breast cancer, the male breast cancer percentage is 1 percent, but male breast cancers are very aggressive than the female breast cancer. Now, 1 million new cases in the world basically and it comprises of 18 percent of all cancers in women. Now, this statistics is little older. Now, the fresh statistics will come in next one or two years back again. Now, see this worldwide, what is the scenario in the world? Worldwide more than 10 lakhs in developed countries, if you see the distribution, developed countries around 6 lakhs and developing countries, we are reaching towards developed countries now, it is around 5 lakhs, 3 lakhs 70 thousand deaths per year approximately and more than 80 new cases per 1 lakh population, it is a very high risk zone. Now, in India, in amongst all the cancers, the percentage is around 19.1, also it is very high. If you see in US, UK, it is a very high percentage, you can see the percentage I have given it from Western Europe, see the South America, everything, it is very high percentage.